everyone, Miss Debbie here, and I have another tip for you. This video has to do with how we can help with the structure and the routine and the sequencing in your classroom and the importance of it. Where do you go when you get the most peace and the most joy? That's a church. So I'm going to do a little bit of paralleling between our classroom and church. Just a little, but you'll see what I mean. Have you ever walked into church? and someone is sitting in your pew, the same pew you've sat in years, the same mass at years, and you walk in and someone is there, you feel, well, do they forget about me? Don't they know that's where I sit? Then after you take a deep breath and you realize, oh, this is all a good thing. We have new people joining our parish, so that's good. But in your heart, you think, oh, that was my place. Can you imagine what a child feels like when they walk in and no one recognizes them, no one greets them? So, here's my greeting plate again. Make sure you greet every child every day, eye to eye. One greeting is a touching, and one greeting is a no touching. So after you're in your pew, it's time to uh, prepare your hearts and your soul to talk to God. So that's usually when we pray. So when a child comes into our classroom and after we've greeted them, they might be kind of wound up. We don't know what happened in the car before they came. We don't know what happened at breakfast. It might have been a little chaotic at their house, rightfully so. So we want to give them the time to kind of decompress. Make sure we have some books and some soft places so they can kind of gather their thoughts. So after that, the next thing we do is we have the gathering hymn when everyone stands up and we rejoice in God. We all sing the same song. We're singing together. And like I said before, when we sing, it gets two places in our brain. We want to get our brain up to the executive function. So that's what happens when you sing. And here's another thing. You ever ask someone a question and they'll say, hmm, hmm. Let me think about that. Well, they just hummed. Humming does exactly the same thing. So it's kind of funny when you are aware of that, you see people that, hmm, they're humming. They're getting their brain up to their executive function so they make a better decision. So then we're kind of at the meat of the day, the learning of the day, and at church, that's when we have our readings and we hear the gospel, the word of, of God. In our classroom, so we do our instruction, we do our learning, we do whatever we need to do as a classroom. So we come together and we're all learning. After that, we make the, the connections. We can go into the small groups and we want to make those connections. Like when we do the sign of peace, it brings us together. And at the end of Mass, when we stand up and the priest gives us the final blessing, he's sending us off to spread the word of God. Well, in the classroom, we're wishing everyone well, and we're sending them home with our love and the peace that we have in our heart. So I hope you found this tip helpful, and thank you, and God bless you.